Oh, Sanjana Singhji was a Pracharak. If you look at our history, Sanjana Singhji was a Mahapurak and a Pracharak. They spent so much time doing Katha of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. Why should we not be proud of a Gursikh who read so much Bani and did so much Prachar of the message of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj? Of course. Now, when it came to political things, they recognized the Sikhs were being oppressed. And they spoke up and they said, Sikho Jago. Todi Zameer Margi Hagi hai. They are waking up six to the truth of the world. Should we not be proud of somebody who wakes up people to the truth? That we are political prisoners? We should be proud of their work. Politically they were awake, they knew what was going on. They told us that we are slaves. Socially, culturally, economically Punjab was being oppressed. Still being oppressed. And the Sikhs were sleeping. And they woke us up. They made us take Amrit. They made people leave pornography, leave Sharab, leave bad habits, start to embrace Amrit, read Bani. They, somebody would come to them and say, I want to join the movement. They would say, Gurkha Fado. First learn your Panjabaniya. They knew the way we get our strength from is Bani. They told people, read Bani. And they said, do satkar of Guru Gan Saji Maharaj. They always use a beautiful word for Guru Gan Saji Maharaj, Isht. Ish means my beloved. That was their beloved. And anybody put a hand on Guru Granth Sahib Maharaj the wrong way, they will say, Sade Ishnu hat laya. Asi kiye bardaas kariye. In our history, there's a time where Sanjay Nansen Ji was inside Akal Tak Sahib. People say they were in Harmandir Sahib. They were not in Harmandir Sahib. They were in Akal Tak Sahib. In the Harmandir Sahib complex, there's two Gurdwari. Akal Tak Sahib and Harmandir Sahib. They never lived in Harmandar Sahib. They were in Akal Tak Sahib. Akal Tak Sahib is where the Akal Sena was kept. The Akal Sena of Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji Maharaj was an army. And his headquarters were Akal Tak Sahib. So for us to criticize them as a political leader, as somebody who had people that were following them, had an army there, they should be staying at Akal Tak Sahib. That is where the Khalsa army used to be. They were not in Harmandar Sahib. And they didn't bother the Maryada of Harmandar Sahib. They stayed in Akal Tak Sahib, firstly. Understand the difference. That is where the Guru kept his army. If you're going to say there should be no weapons at Akal Tak Sahib, what will you do about Guru Hargobin Sahib Ji Maharaj who made it and they carried two Kirpans there? Is the Guru wrong? Can he be wrong? If we do what the Guru did, can we be wrong? So we should be proud of him. He stood up when many people were prepared to sleep. Yeah? Now, historically, our mistake is that we think he caused the June attack on Harmandir Sahib. We're coming up to June now. Again, people will start saying, well, Sanjay Nazanji caused it. The Indian government, they made a model of, a, of Harmandir Sahib in the Doon Valley in 1982, before Sanjay Nazanji even was in a Kaltak Sahib. They had planned to attack us in 1982 before Sanjana Singh Ji even got in. It's our mistake to think that we are to blame for what happened. They planned to do it anyway. They wanted to kill the back of the Sikhs. They wanted to break our Zameer. They wanted to break our conscience. They wanted us to accept that we are slaves in India and live that way. Rather than live as we always meant to be, as free people under our Guru's Hukum. Understand the history. There's videos on our channel that go through this. Santji is, I think, one of the most inspirational Sikhs in the last hundred years. And we need more people like him, not less. We need hundreds of Sanjana Singhjis. This Pant will be in Chardikaradhan. Even if you have five, <laughs> that would be good.